Hello friends, welcome to my channel Immigration Dream. In this channel, I make immigration based videos for US and Canada immigration. I also make uh, lifestyle videos uh, such as uh, politics and health and astrology and whatnot. So if you are new to this channel, then uh, please hit that subscribe button that way you get alert on my latest videos. I have experience of living in the US for more than 15 years and I have been through the US immigration system myself. So my goal here is to share with you all the information that I know which can benefit you for your US visa and US immigration applications. <clears throat> so let's get started. In today's video, uh, we are going to talk about a very important topic that is the, the US visa rejections. I'm going to focus mainly on the visitor's visa, uh, you know, which are given by the US government for people to visit the US uh, you know, for tourism purposes or medical purposes. So <clears throat> I get a lot of uh, questions from a lot of people saying, hey, why my visa gets rejected and can you help me? So today I'm going to actually talk in detail about why I think the visa gets rejected and what you can do to uh, prevent the rejection. And if your visa is already rejected one or many times, uh, you know, obviously you can contact me uh, in the in the email address that I've provided but let's get started <clears throat> so uh, the first reason why I think the, the, the US visa gets rejected is the improper filling of the DS-160 form so in order to uh, apply for US visa you have to fill out the DS-160 form which is available on the Department of State website the DS-160 form has more than uh, 25 sections of information that they, they are looking for. So they are looking for your passport details, they are looking for your personal details, <clears throat> it's your name of your parents, uh, they are also looking for your finances, uh, they are looking for your all your uh, travel history, uh, all your employment history, and then uh, like a lot more information. So many times visa get rejected because applicants do not fill the information correctly. Or information is missing. Uh, US Department has access to all the database of all the Indian people so they basically match that information uh, with, the, with the database and if the information is a mismatch then the visa gets rejected so officer, officer gets rejected. So uh, that's one reason why the US visa get rejected. The second and a very important re reason is uh, your financial ability to pay for your trip. Uh, so US visa, when you apply for the US visa, you can either choose to self-sponsor your trip or you can ha have somebody else sponsor your trip. What US government wants is that they want to have, they want you to have adequate funds to come visit to the US and return. So basically they're checking that, hey, one, do you have uh, money for buying tickets? Second, you have money for staying in the US for the six months, right? So they're looking for anywhere about the five to ten thousand dollars of liquid funds available at any time. So if those funds are not there in your bank statements or in your savings, the US visa will get rejected. Number three, I think uh, they also ask for the travel history. So let's say, uh, you know, you are a you know, like a, a frequent traveler, you haven't been, haven't traveled to US yet, but let's say you have been to some countries where US doesn't have a good ties, right? Like Middle Eastern countries, uh, or uh, you know, countries like Pakistan, or you know, like countries like uh, so US has a list of those countries. So if or Iran, right? Uh, if you travel to those countries, uh, there's a chance that you go through the secondary inspection on your visa application, and your uh, US visa can get rejected. Number four, very important reason is your ties to your country. So basically, US visitor's visa is given for you to visit the US and come back. Many times, many applicants have no ties to their home country. And I'm gonna give you an example. I, I, I helped uh, a couple here you know, who wanted to apply for a US visa, you know, US visitor's visa, 
uh, but all their brothers and sisters and entire family is already you know, living in the US either on the H1B visa or on the green card and that couple was actually living in the India now they wanted to visit US uh, you know to meet uh, you know meet the family which is a completely valid reason but then they have no ties to their own country that is they don't have house here you know they don't have a job here and uh, you know they were doing some a little business here and there and so that becomes a suspicious application right so i helped them actually come through this situation and i helped them get the visa so it depends on how you put your case in front of the state department uh, that, that that is in the us uh, visa application so you need to have you, you need to show strong ties to your home country in order to get the visitor's visa the fifth reason uh, i think is very important is the criminal history in the country of your origin you will be surprised to know how many people have some kind of police records or criminal history uh, you know in their home country so basically what uh, indian government does is indian government share that information uh, with the us uh, government in the background and uh, your criminal history gets verified so if you have criminal history and if you hide that history in the form then be certain that your 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 us visa application will get rejected number 6 the reason for the trip uh, again us visa like us visitors visa is given uh, for people uh, to visit the us and come back so you need to show a valid reason uh, to go and come back the reason can be one visiting the immediate family right that is if you are a parent of people on h1b you want to visit uh, your family your grandkids and come back that's a perfectly valid reason to come back but there are many people who give reasons such as hey i want to go and work in the us for six months and come back that's not a good reason right and so us visa officers are really good in in catching such people who, who are just trying to invade the system and go to us to work so the reason for your trip is so so important if you ask me if your goal is to go and work in the us then don't come to me for any you know any visa help because i will never help you because us visitors visa is to visit the us and come back so uh, these are the six uh, main reasons that your your uh, your us visa application can get rejected now let's let's assume then uh, let's assume that your visa application was rejected and now you want to reapply uh, what to do right so i have helped myself like uh, more than uh, 200 300 people uh, who whose visa got rejected before and now they have got the visa uh, again giving you the us visa is not in my hand or anybody's hand it is solely in the hand of us government that is is solely in the hand of officers who are actually interviewing you your goal is to make your applications app, application and case in such a way that you provide them transparent information and i can help you with uh, creating your application but the whole uh, decision of giving you the visa is solely solely dependent on how you give the interview and uh, how, no, how you write your application so i can help you with that but again the us visa is given by us consulate not me or not anybody else or no politician in india can actually influence that rather you rather know that our prime minister uh, mr modi's visa was rejected like a long time back so again it's not in uh, you know in our control so uh, if you need any help i have put my number in the description you can contact me and uh, you know i can i can help you through your application i have a request for you that if somebody says to you that hey they can 100% give you visa and you know pay me this 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 money then that is a fraud nobody in the world can give you this visa other than the us consulate and us officer so please stay alert and 
do not panic if your 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 visa get rejected it happens but again you reapply and then you get the visa okay i hope uh, you like this video uh, i i hope that uh, you subscribe to my channel that way you get the new and exciting updates from my uh, latest videos uh, thank you very much uh, for watching these videos and hopefully you will get your uh, b1 b2 visa soon thank you bye bye